Hello and welcome to Generation Skywalker and this unboxing video I'm Dan and in this video we are going to be looking at a new hot toy now, it's been a little while since I've done a hot toy unboxing it's been a good seven months so it's good to finally get my hands on a new one and this one is a corker as you can see it is the Luke Besbin it's a DX24 so unlike the last few Empire Strikes Back hot toys I've received it has no longer got the uh, the 40th anniversary uh, vintage style packaging i think this is because this one is a dx it's got some extra fancy packaging as well so it's got this nice slip case there with nice art with luke on it nice art panel there on the front describing a little bit about what luke skywalker's doing in the empire strikes back now because this is a dx figure it has got the rolling eyeballs and it's got an extra fancy base as well other than that, it's pretty much standard hot toy, one six scale. Some plastic there under his neck. I'm just going to take that away. Clip his head back on. And he comes with two styles of haircut. He's got this kind of wet look from when he's in the, in the heat of battle with Vader. And you can also swap that out. And he's got his uh, standard haircut. Non-distressed hair, shall we call it. As you can see there, the two different... It's cops and area like you've just seen there quite easily interchangeable they're magnetic and here's his belt with all the little pouches it's got the buckle on the front and uh, and the gun holster as well it's very nice you also get several sets of hands as this comes with standard with all hot toys you get different options for hands and also some instructions here on how to maneuver the eyes so there's a little tool you can put in the back of his head and you can move his eyes from left to right and position them however you want and there's also some instructions here on on how to work the base so it's a usb base you can plug it in and it all lights up so it's very nice it's got a nice carbon freeze chamber effect on the floor just clips in there and the belt it just separates a bit of velcro on there you slide the holster up his leg and then you yeah, just fold the, the belt through. I did have a bit of trouble doing this initially, but I um, I got there in the end. But, yeah, so it's, it hangs nicely around his waist. And the gun just slips into the holster there. Obviously, you can use the various hand options that you've got to have him holding the gun. But I'm going to have him displayed holding a lightsaber and the gun holstered. So I've got kind of the motion lightsaber, so this gives an effect of the, of the lightsaber in in swing. I'm gonna set him up on the stand now, and uh, we'll take a quite closer look at the figure. So he's obviously really poseable. Lots of options there to the various poses. I think the uh, the disappointing thing with this figure a little bit is you can't really lift his arms up too much because of the I suppose the, the nature of the costume and how tight it is on him it is, um, can be quite hard to uh, get him in a position where his arms are raised. But I'll have a play later, but for now I'm just going to have him in kind of a, a passive pose. So just, just trying out the different hair options again just to make sure I'm sure I'm what I want. And we'll just attach the lightsaber on here. So the, the likeness to Mark Hamill circa 1980 again is uncanny. I think this is the same face sculpt that they used for the uh, the Luke Skywalker Snowspeeder pilot from last year, but it is an absolute dead ringer for uh, for Luke Skywalker in Empire Strikes Back. Now, there is a deluxe version of this figure that comes with a blown Vader helmet, so it's displaying Luke's face under the Vader mask and also a Degabuff theme base, but for my display purposes, I've just gone with a standard version. And here I've just got him next to my uh, Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader just to give you an idea of the size of the scale of the figure but yeah it's it's, it's a really good one I know I say it every time but yeah they, they just knock it out of the park every time Hot Toys and I want to say special thanks to the good the bad and the robots um, for getting this to me safely um, great service as always and that's the end of the video here's a quick few shots of my other Empire Strikes Back Hot Toys um, but until next time we are Generation Skywalker all errors all passions or Star Wars. Thanks for watching. Bye now.